What's going on? So, was just thinking, reading some reviews on stuff, and I don't know the last video I I talked about. You know, if you if you're starting a podcast or or even if you're starting a YouTube channel, you know, if you're getting into any kind of endeavor. You know, and it really can apply to a lot of things. You know, I've heard someone say, even like from a mechanic standpoint, but you know, if you like, if you're just starting off as a mechanic, you don't need to you don't need to buy the high end Snap On and Matco and all that. You know, the real high dollar tools. You know, buying you know decent tools. And then as you either break tools or they wear out, then replace them with the higher end tool. You know, same can be said with, you know, photography or a lot of other things that you might get into. You know, um, and even talking about like with, in that last video with talking about starting a podcast, you know, you don't necessarily want to go out and you know, if you're just starting out something or trying something, you don't really, you know, it's good to buy quality equipment, but not necessarily go out and buy the best of the best, highest end of, of whatever you're buying. You know, like I said in that podcast video, you know, buy the setup that'll allow you to record portably and use that as your main rig till you decide, you know, are you going to record everything sitting in one place or do you want to be mobile with it? You know, but you'll have the the flexibility to be mobile with it. And like I was looking at microphones and stuff and I was reading reviews and you know, I was looking at the the less expensive like, you know, little shotgun the mini shot shotgun mics, the the uh, Rode Video Micro and some of the other uh, brands that have that have come out since uh, Movo, Boya. And I was I was looking at those, and I don't have any personal experience with them, but I was looking through the reviews, and a few people were saying that you know the mounts for it broke after time, and you know the they just you know it seemed like the longevity of the product was to them. And their experience wasn't there, but so that's one thing. You know, I'm not saying that the product is is poor design. I mean, it could very well be you know user error or just you know user abuse of the product. Um, but it's good to to look at what you're buying before you buy and make sure that what you're buying is something that'll hold up to what you want to do. You know, obviously if, if you're bringing the stuff on the go, you know, you, you need to look for stuff and methods of, of transporting it. That's going to be the safest option. Um, you don't want to, obviously you're going to have difficulty recording a podcast if, you know, the shock mount for your microphone broke. You're going to have issues recording if the cable on your lavalier mic is shorted out. You know, so <clears throat> you don't want to buy the cheapest of the cheap, but you don't want to buy the most expensive thing right out the gate. Um, and that, that can be really said for anything, whether you're starting a YouTube channel, you know, you, you might look at everybody else's setups and say, oh, I need to buy a Sony... A7 Mark III or A7S Mark III or I need to buy a, a red camera or I need to buy, you know, not the color red but the brand. You know, start recording stuff on your cell phone. You know, it's, it's you know, there's a lot of people that, that are making a decent income off of, you know, YouTube income and earnings and deals with, um, Uh, like brand deals, sponsorships, stuff like that, paid content, paid product placement, stuff like that. But, 
you know, if you're just starting out a YouTube channel, you know, don't expect brands, you know, to come crawling to you and, and begging to, to, for you to push their product. Um, and even with the ad revenue, you know, unfortunately, I, I think it's it was one of those that the the good suffered for the bad year a few years back. Um, that. It used to be you could apply for monetization, and they'd pretty much approve you um, as long as you had. A, I think it was as long as you had a, pretty much had a few videos up, and you had a, somewhat of some viewership. And before that, it used to be that they would ask you, you know, they would invite you to to the AdSense program, and then eventually it became where you could just start a channel, post up a few videos, and apply for monetization. Now you have to hit, you know, a number, a minimum subscriber count, minimum view count, and then they have a review process. So it's not what it used to be. But you know, so if if you're just looking at starting a YouTube channel, just like with this channel, you know, I don't. I'm just rambling to the camera. I don't. If I get a few views here or there, you know, it's 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 something I enjoy doing. I enjoy pulling out the camera and just and recording stuff. Um, I'll admit I did purchase this RX100 Mark III specifically for the purpose of recording YouTube content, but I also use it for photography. You know, it's a, it's a excellent throw in the bag camera, throw in your pocket camera. Um, I mean, like, you know, I have other cameras that, that fit that, that, use but you know I just I, I like this one for what it is um, but it's it's also one of those you know I if I would have if I would have just purchased this camera just for the purpose of recording YouTube videos you know that'd be that'd be absolutely silly you know, I would just use my cell phone for that um, so you know, anytime you're looking at buying something or you're looking at starting some kind of, you know, you know, YouTube videos or podcasts or something like that, you know, start with what you have and build from there. You know, you can get USB microphones that will work on your computer or you and your friends, you know, they may have a, a headset that you can you know, spend ten, fifteen dollars. You know, you may be able to plug the stuff directly into your computer and and record from both headsets or both microphones or whatever it is. But you know, look at what you already have that you can use for whatever it is that you're, you know, if you're trying to do a podcast or YouTube videos or whatever, and find content and subject matter that is something you're familiar with. You know, don't don't try and make content about building race cars if you don't know anything about race cars. You know, if you know photography, talk about photography. If you know video games, talk about video games. You know, and just don't focus on, you know, the numbers. You know, it, go into it for sharing your passion with of, of a subject with other people you know and if if say you're really good at you know math or, or some subject you know there's there's plenty of of either programs that you you can put on your computer or apps that'll run on your iPad that you can do a screen capture and while you're doing a screen capture, have you know be able to you know show what you're doing on the screen um for, for instance like you could get a, a drawing app or a note taking app on the ipad use the built-in screen recording program and sit there and, and you know talk about math problems or or grammar or whatever you know find something that you're you're good at and make content based on that you know if there's you know, and don't focus on the numbers. 
And I know there's a lot of a lot of people out there that just focus on numbers and trying to, you know, get the most amount of views they can. And you know, you, you viewers can tell, you know, when you're being when you're genuine in what you're doing and when you're doing something or you're promoting products just because I mean, I've I've in the past, you know, on on YouTube stuff I've done in the past, you know, I've I've had a few companies reach out to me and mention stuff. I've mentioned companies' products and they've commented on the video. It never, you know, it never was one of those. You know, one of them was like, "Hey, we're looking for people to review." I think it was a phone holder. It was like a flexible phone holder thing. Um. And they had reached out to me and wanted me to try out their product, and yeah, I never did anything with that. But it was kind of was I just wasn't really interested. And I didn't see where I would have a benefit from it. So, but there, there's been companies before I've talked about their product, and you know they've commented and they're like, thanks, you know, or I've gotten my video shared on their social media. You know, did it help my channel in any way shape or you know I, I i don't really think it did but you know it's it's all about talking about stuff that you're passionate about and, and you know if you if you buy something and you're doing like a product review you know, don't don't be afraid to you know if it's not a good product say it you know customers would be or not customers but viewers are are going to be a lot happier for you to talk about the good points and the bad points than to just sit there and praise a product the whole video and then they spend their money on it and it's junk or there's problems with it. Now, there are times where you know you happen to get one that works just fine and they get one that has problems. So that's why, you know, and I've probably said this before, anytime I look at purchasing something, I look at and I look at multiple places, you know, I look at the the written reviews of it as well as if if available reviews of it on on YouTube, you know, videos, I'll I'll search forums, I'll search Facebook groups and look at uh, a varied amount of sources to decide, you know, to make my determination on the product. So that's it. The video went a little longer than I expected it to, but sometimes that's what happens.